Hi everyone, Bryant Blakemore here with the Quattu Motorsports. I wanted to give you all a little rundown of what I'm working on this evening. So I'm taking these plain old uh, light truck tires and I'm turning them into a white wall tire. Uh, these are homemade white walls for my 1962 Cadillac. And I went with a I went with a light truck tire because it's got a little better weight rating and it's a modern uh, radio instead of a bias ply. And I'm sometimes kind of cheap, so I wanted to buy an inexpensive tire and make my own white wall instead of spending three or four hundred dollars a tire to buy bias ply white walls or uh, radial white walls from Coco, Coker or Diamond or whoever uh, Diamondback or whoever makes white walls. Uh, I've heard about this method and I wanted to try it as you can tell I have already done it uh, to one tire and three already on the car this is my last one so I wanted to walk you all through the process here first thing we'll go over is uh, what to look for in the tire and the equipment that you'll need in order to do this for the tire you want a tire that has a raised white letter you can see here this tire has raised white letters here or a solid white letter. A black wall tire won't have a white wall layer underneath it. Uh, but these tires do. This whole section, everything you saw on that previous tire, is a full white wall strip all the way around. And fortunately on this tire, I can't speak about every tire, but I'm gonna assume it's gonna be the same. There is a defined line all the way around, outer and inner on the tire. Uh, and I'll show you that as we go through the process that defines the white wall section. So you get a clean, crisp line. You don't have to worry about measuring out a line and following it yourself. It's already there in the tire for you. Equipment that you'll need. Heavy duty gloves. These fingers uh, got ate by the grinder a little bit because uh, the gloves I was wearing were a little too light duty. So you want some heavy duty leather gloves. These were Harbor Freight, two bucks, whatever, no big deal. Uh, they've been grabbed a couple times, but nothing has uh, penetrated these, these gloves, so no big deal. So, heavy duty gloves. You'll definitely want a mask or a respirator of some kind. You can see everything in my shop is freaking covered in tire chunks. Uh, it's gonna take a while to clean all this out. I'm covered in tire chunks. You don't want that in your lungs, that's bad for you. Nowadays, everyone should have a mask anyway. Uh, so use that or this respirator works great for me. I haven't had any problems with it uh, doing all these other tires. Personally, I like ear protection. I like things to be kind of quiet in my head so that I can focus on what I'm doing, uh, even if I have background noise going and whatnot. Plus, I'm trying to protect what little is left of my hearing. Uh, I'm wearing glasses, but you'll want some kind of eye protection if you don't wear glasses or anything like that, uh, face mask or whatever you, you like to use keep this stuff from you know getting into your eyes it's small bits of rubber chunks is what you're what you're going to be uh, having come off these i've been playing with all flap discs but different grits and i don't have a preference yet in the i guess it's the the more coarse grits so like i think one of these wheels is a 40 uh yeah this one here is a i think is a 40 grit man it chews through the rubber real real fast but it does it doesn't leave a smooth finish on the white wall section so depending on what you want my car is a driver it's kind of ratty looking i don't really care if these are not show quality tires it doesn't bother me anybody that says anything about it can uh you know go make fun of somebody else's car. I don't care. I'm gonna drive my car, that's what it's for. Uh, so I just wanted good looking cheap tires that, uh, that look good from a distance and make badass pictures and, uh, and look good rolling down the highway. Other than that, I'm not really concerned about it. They, these tires will clean up real nice with some steel wool and some bleach or some Scotch-Brite pads and uh, some white wall cleaner, uh, maybe some simple green, things like that. I'll go through whenever I get around to cleaning these if it's not freezing outside. I'll go through that process as well on how to maintain them. So I've been using everything from 40 grit all the way to a 120 grit. Um, I like the 120 grit. The finish that it leaves on the tire is, is pretty nice. You have to remember to constantly move the grinder, just a four and a half inch angle grinder. If you don't 
move it, you'll put grooves in it, and then you'll have to work those out. I have not chewed all the way through the white wall layer into the next layer of rubber underneath, so I don't know what that looks like. So uh, I suggest just not making that mistake, uh, otherwise you'll have to start over uh, again. So like I said, I've been using a bunch of different grits from 40 all the way to 120. The 40 gets the work done pretty quick. I can get a tire done in about half an hour uh, if I'm not talking to anybody and just focusing straight on the job uh, to where it's acceptable for me to put on my, my car. Uh, you may want to put a little more finish work into yours, however you want to do it, that's cool. So these are the tools of what we need. I told you a little bit about the tire. I'm using light truck tires on my truck. Um, some people may not like it, but in the future, I may put all terrains on that car. Uh, just because everything I own goes in the dirt and that would look cool on all terrain tires too. So I'll get a white, a white letter all terrain tire and I'll turn that into a white wall. Shoot, I may put some mud tires on it and make them white walls too. Who knows, I'm getting a little excited about uh, how these are turning out. I'm pretty happy with it. So yeah, so we'll get started here. I'll show you some techniques. I'll show you what to look for in the lines and some things on the tire itself that uh, you know you may, like I was, initially be initially concerned about that end up not being a problem. It's a real simple process. It is a little time consuming. It does hurt your back a little bit and your arms. So I'm gonna be real sore tomorrow doing four of these tires tonight, uh, but the car looks amazing. So yeah, so we'll get started and uh, we'll go from there. I'm gonna start with, I believe I have an 80 grit wheel on here and we'll just start by smoothing down the raised letters uh, and I just bring them down flush with the with the rubber to where they start to disappear you'll see as I'm working along kind of how that works you don't get off of it. It gets pretty dirty. There's a lot of a lot of tire uh, rubber coming off on these things. So I'm also keeping air on hand so that I can blow this off as I'm going. So I don't push a bunch of that rubber into the fresh white wall and make it kind of dirty. I also blow out my uh, my wheel. We use the outer edge a lot on this. So. Uh, you'll burn through them and you won't use this inner part of the wheel very much. So you may need a couple of discs. I've been rotating through my discs to get the job done. And depending on the finish that I want on the wheel, uh, I use a different grip. So once I get down to the white, as long as I'm not putting grooves in it that I have to smooth out later, I leave it alone. Uh, you know, I don't take it down any further than what it is. And I try to use points on the grinder instead of wider areas so that I don't interfere with the rest of the white. So now what I'll show you is a couple areas on this tire. I bought a spare and had it off the, the rim so that I could practice and see how far out this white wall actually went. The white walls on these tires are uh, almost three inches thick, which is a pretty fat white wall. I really like it. But there were some things on this tire when I first saw it that I was a little concerned about, and I'll show that to y'all. Okay, so you can see in the video right here, this textured part of the sidewall comes into the smooth down almost to where the letters were. And that concerned me. I was afraid that the smooth part was the only part with white wall and that my white walls were gonna have this recess in them from this textured part. Turns out that's not the case on this tire. It's white walls evenly all the way around. 
So what we'll do now is we'll go up and we'll find that top edge of the white wall and we'll find the bottom edge of the white wall so you can see what that looks like. And we'll do it in this section here that is textured. That way you can see, and we'll do a smooth part also, so you can see that it'll go all the way around. So let's show you what we got here. So on this side of the tire, you can see right here where the sidewall is smooth and then it's got this divot in it where the texture part comes down. It's the same on the other side and that's what I was grinding through over here. In fact, you can see the end of it here. And as you can see, there's some text stamped in it and those letters are part of the white wall. So you can go ahead and go all the way up to that point and hit them. Again, whatever tire you use, buy a spare if they're cheap enough and practice on it. That way you know where the ends are. So here you can see we found our clean line all the way across. And if you look, it goes into the textured part here. So we don't have to worry about this being not white wall because it is. And then on the bottom, we found our line down here. Now, I will note that this rubber on the bottom part of the, towards the bead of the bottom part of the, the tire, the, the inner diameter, the rubber here is a lot thicker because of the bead, and it melts more than it flakes off with the grinder. So this part is difficult, and it sucks to try to get this angle grinder in there uh, because it's so close to the rim, and it's it's difficult. This inner This inner diameter line to get it clean is uh, the most tedious part of the whole job. Fresh uh, wheels make a big difference uh, when doing this inner part. And what you can do if you want is you can go up and find your upper line just like this and do that first all the way around. I went a little overboard here, but it'll be all right. And do that all the way around. And that way you know where your edges are here and here so that you can just freely clean out the middle of it. Cause these, this upper part's pretty easy. This is the most tedious part down here for me on these tires. Again, spots like this, don't worry about it. You can go back over it real lightly with the grinding wheel and, uh, and clean it up or just use your steel wool or your, or whatever um, to, uh, to clean it up. Now these, like I said, the finish on these is not gonna be super smooth like you see on actual uh, manufactured white walls. But I don't care on my car. As long as it doesn't have big gouges in it, like this tire does, this was the first one I did and you can see, you can see all the gouging in it. I'll go back and fix all these uh, on this tire. This was my learning tire. So uh, the first time I've ever done it and it, you can definitely tell that I was learning. <laughs> But cleaned up, you wouldn't be able to really be able to see those. Uh, they're just highlighted because it's dirty. But as I've done more of these tires, I've been able to figure out the method and figure out how to move the grinding wheel and what angles and whatnot and what grits to use so that I don't gouge the tire like that one. So these will, on the car, as you can see out there, will turn out much smoother. So always keep your grinder moving. Find your edges on a practice tire here and here.
and then go to town. As soon as you get to white, move to black, and remember to keep the, the grinder moving this way and this way and this way and this way so that you don't create divots in the tire all the way around. Okay, so we're almost done with this whole tire. I've switched to 120 grit on my uh, flat disc wheel. And I've got this last little bit here and a couple little touch-up spots. And I just wanted to show kind of the technique that I use when I'm cleaning up these very bottom edges. And so that you can see what it looks like when it disappears. You can kind of see some lettering here. And you can see the, see the clean line all the way around. So we'll go ahead and hit this with the grinder. And hopefully the video will show. Uh, I'm not a professional videographer by any means. But we'll see if we can get this on video here. Don't worry about these white marks. They're probably just, yep, rubber on there. So we'll clean this up and you'll see it disappear and see this solid line appear as we're going through there. And what I like to do with the, with the flat disc is kind of get on that edge and just brush it, brush it off. And that way it uh, doesn't take too much rubber, doesn't get into the white further back and it just cleanly takes it off a little bit when I'm doing my final cleanup around these things. So that looks like it's going to be pretty good for us, for my car. Uh, like I said, it's a driver. I don't uh, expect these to be show quality. Um, I have noticed that this rubber, the white rubber, is a little bit softer than the outer rubber, of course. So watch. You don't get curb rash and things like that in, into your white walls. Uh, I'll do a, some videos and talk a, a little bit about cleaning them whenever I get to that point when it's not freezing outside and, uh, and, I, and I clean the car. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and get these mounted, mounted up on the car and I'll show you what that looks like and uh, we'll call it good. So DIY white walls, don't be scared. Uh, give it a shot, buy a spare tire and practice on that one first so that you're comfortable with what the tire is going to look like at the end. And then, uh, man, make your ride stand out and look sweet. Appreciate y'all following along. As you can see here, this is all tire junk down here makes a huge mess off-road Porsches covered the wheels I was covered oh man <laughs> I got a lot of cleaning to do but let's go see what what we got going on don't mind the junk in my shop boom there we have it 1962 Cadillac sedan on homemade white wall tires that's the way these things are supposed to look. Woo! Even in the dark, on the dark side. Oh yeah. Thanks for following along. Remember, like, share, subscribe, all those things that YouTube people ask you to do. Hope you appreciate the video and the information. Reach out if you have any questions. Uh, this is something anybody can do in their own garage. Just remember, it makes a huge mess, but uh, it sure makes your, lot, your ride look real sweet.